Hello my dear grade 6 students. Today you all are here with me to learn science. Science is a very very easy subject. Some children think science is very difficult subject. But I am sure you will like this subject when we start to learn this one. So children, our first lesson is Wonders of the Living World. Wonders of the Living World. In this lesson, we have to learn about plants, about animals, about the environment. And we have to do lots of experiments as well. Okay, children. Firstly, you should know what's the meaning of the environment. What's the meaning of the environment? I am sure you all know what environment is. Environment is... Our surrounding including us. You are also part of the environment. We are also coming under the environment. Okay children. Tell me what are the things consist of the environment? What are the things consist of the environment? Just imagine when you are working on the street and home garden. What would you see? Tell me, what would you see? Yes, you will see children, plants, animals, some birds, water bodies like ponds, clouds, roads, like. Now think, if you are at home, when you inside the home, what would you see? You can see your parents, your siblings, table, chairs, furniture. Okay, children. What is this? This is the classroom. Very beautiful classroom. What are the things you can see in this environment? Shall we write down it as a list? In this environment, children, I can see teacher, students, books, chairs, desk, door, whiteboard. Okay. Remember children, according to the, according to things present in the environment, that we can group these things into different categories. Before we group these things in the environment under different categories, we should learn this topic. What's the topic? Growth. 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 What's the meaning of growth? Look at this picture. Child holding a shoe. He looks like a little sad. Because the shoe is too small for him. Why children? Because the boy is bigger than the shoe. He can't wear the shoe anymore. Why? You know it children. When you go from one year to next year, another year, you can't wear same shoes, same shirts, same frocks anymore. Why? That happens because you all grow up. Now children, what about plant? See this picture. If you plant a seed, after several weeks, children, you will see it will grow into bigger plants. If you plant a seed, after several weeks, you will see it grow into a bigger plants. So children, you know now, plants and animals also grow. Okay. Things in the environment can be categorized under two main groups. Now we are going to learn that. Okay, here you can see the table. You can see the table. Things that grow and things that do not grow. Two columns. What are the things that grow? Teacher, children, cow, dog, fisherman, trees, elephant. Like this. Things that do not grow. Pencils, chairs, pens, desk, 
bags, whiteboard, door, vehicles. Okay. Now, look at this. Things in the environment can be divided into living things and non-living things. Living things and non-living things. Why children? Why do we group these things to living and non-living things? Because living things, they grow. Living things, they grow. Non-living things, they do not grow. Things in the environment can be divided into two groups, living things and non-living things. Living things, they grow. Non-living things, they do not grow. If we take the living things, if we take living things, again we can be divided into three main groups. Plants, animals and microorganisms. Plants, animals and microorganisms. So children, I will tell more information about living things next video. Today the lesson is over. Goodbye.